Pope Francis, in his role as Bishop of Rome, addressed the Assembly of the Diocese of Rome at the Basilica of St. John Lateran, reminding everyone that the poor should not be seen as a number or a problem but as our brother. His message was presented at the closing event of the initiative Bridging the Gap Beyond Inequalities, which brought together people from various social sectors, including a journalist, a lawyer, and a young student, all actively supporting those in need. Francis highlighted the importance of bringing good news to the poor, reminding everyone that Christ's presence is found within them. They make him visible to our eyes, expressed the Pope, adding that Jesus does not offer instant solutions to poverty but calls on us to recognize and love the poor as individuals beloved by God. He criticized the hypocrisy of those who speak of helping the poor but fail to take action. The issue of poverty is an ecclesial urgency, he emphasized, underlining that the church must reflect God's tenderness and not fear getting involved in the needs of the most vulnerable. Pope Francis also stressed the need to promote the church's social teaching and to address poverty through social doctrine. Looking ahead to the Jubilee in 2025, he encouraged concrete works of hope, emphasizing that Christian hope is always active and uplifting. The event also featured the participation of the new Vicar of Rome, Monsignor Baldassare Reina, who highlighted the four severe forms of poverty that affect many in Rome, educational, healthcare, housing, and employment poverty. Monsignor Reina explained that these forms of poverty are serious challenges that penalize the population and stated that the church must proclaim itself as an integral part of the city called to announce the kingdom of God and joint efforts to combat these realities. This gathering also served as a commemoration of the 50th anniversary of the conference The Ills of Rome, held in 1974, which addressed Christians' responsibility regarding poverty and justice in Rome.